It is Monday. Good Monday, everybody. Let's wait for everyone to get in here. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the cool stuff we have for uh, the warehouse find sale. A couple things we got up on eBay. And then we'll have a special guest joining us as well. afternoon or whoever. Hello Terry, how are you today? I'm going to wave at you. Hello Terry, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Terry, where are you from? Don't be shy. Everyone here talks and chats and hangs out. You don't need to be shy. I love that like though. Thank you. That makes me happy. You said no, I'm doing a job right. Um, so, hi Terry, where are you joining us from? And is that a Little puppy dog? Is that a puppy dog photo? Oh my God, what is that? That, that is really cute. North Carolina, how is the weather there? Roger Dodger, whoa. Oh God, I love these names, look at this. This is this, I'm getting nicknames on the show now. That's awesome, awesome. Well, I'm gonna show you guys, um, if anyone's new to the show, we do things a little differently here. Um, if you notice, um, we don't do call-outs here. What's up, Eric, how are you, dude? Um, oh, hot and rainy. I wish, Terry, can you send some rain to the Arizona area? Because I live in Uptown in Phoenix and we got no rain with the last couple of rains we had come through, so. Anyone can send us a lot of rain for the downtown, uptown Phoenix area. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Eric, greetings, greetings, greetings. How are you today? Excellent. All right. So we got a couple uh, sales going to be going on throughout the month of September. I'm going to show you a couple of things we're highlighting here. And um, these are called the warehouse finds. And they're items that... Um, we didn't have them in the store previously, but we actually, hey, here's some stock, let's get these up here to sell. So, anyone who is new to this, um, we don't do call outs, you'll see some links for the shows, so you can go ahead and uh, do your shopping and pick up the stuff you want. For some reason, my links all disappeared. That's always fun. That's fun. But anyways, go to Coffin Comics, uh, Coffin, Coffin Comic Shop, oh God, it is such a Monday. Uh, and click on the warehouse finds. These are where you'll find all the items I'll be showing you today. Um, a couple of these items, just so you guys know, probably have already sold out. Just trying to pull stuff for the show, it was crazy. Being the president must be rough. Um, Eric, yes, we are getting some of the fires. Uh, the smoke from the fires are left a nice little bit of a haze over the Valley of the Sun. Um, it seems to be getting a little better. My wife has really bad asthma, so um, when the air quality is really bad, she can let you know all about it. Um, but it is bad. Um, I am concerned about uh, my mom and my Papa Joe, uh, Morgan, the, the outskirts of Portland, uh, where it's a lot of wilderness. They haven't been evacuated, but they showed me pictures and it's really, really scary. So hope my folks are doing okay. Um, you know, I, I wish I could go out there and help them, but um, how am I gonna drive through all that smoke, let alone fly or anything else? So it's pretty crazy. But you know what? All we can do is hope for the best and um, you know, be there to support our family and our loved ones. So let's get started, shall we? I'll be having a guest joining us um, about 30 minutes at around 4.30ish. So um, we'll be doing uh, the last 30 minutes probably um, talking with the special guests and whatnot. So the first thing I want to show you here that we have on the Warehouse Finds at Coffin Comics, this is the Hell Witch Hellborn Black and White Edition. Now these editions are really nice because it shows you the raw pencils of these books, the artwork, I love it when we uh, make books like these, because it shows you just, 
It's a raw, it's got the pencil sketches in there. Just really beautiful book. I mean, it has no tax. It's just beautiful, raw penciled art for you to check out. Um, so we got some of these. This is the Hellborn one. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, if anyone else has family members out in Cali, you know, the whole West Coast, Washington, Cali, Oregon, um, my thoughts are, are with you all's family or in any of you viewers. Um, yeah, like Perry here, dude. I hope you're doing all right. Um, please be safe. Um, it, it's really bad and it looks awful, but I'm glad um, people are still keeping their spirits up. Uh, I know my folks are. So, um, you know, Eric, thank you very much. Perry, man, it's got to be really rough where you're at. Um, I, I hope any of your family members or friends that have, you know, breathing issues, I hope, uh, I wish them all the best because it's, it's got to be a heck of an ordeal to go through. So, uh, thoughts and prayers to everyone out in Cali and the West Coast. So, thank you, everyone. See, this is what I love about this group. You guys, um, sometimes you don't know everyone, but everyone's introducing themselves. Yeah. Still playing games? Shh. I don't play enough games, my friend. Another thing we have on the Warehouse Five, this is La Muerta, number two, Retribution. This is the Mega Incentive cover. That's done by Colette Turner. And I actually have a, another variation of that art right here. This is the Jeweled Edition. And we have uh, only 300 of these were made. This is the uh, Lady La Muerta, Retribution one. This is the Jeweled Edition. And then it's a nice little Companion piece to the direct market's incentive collect Turner did the art. Beautiful piece. I love it as a jeweled edition. All right. Another item we have we loaded up. This is La Muerta, the Ascension, Naughty Edition. That's a really beautiful image. I really love um, how they do the headdresses. Um, uh, Genevieve Brumal is the artist of this. Really cool thing, I was surprised they have found one of these. This is number 25, there was only 50 of these editions made. This is the Muerta Ascension, this is the legendary set. All these covers are uh, done by Eric Basaluda, it's known as Ibaz. So this is the Naughty Legend Edition. Regular Ascension Edition, Legend Edition and the Noir Legend Edition. So these are three books. I think we have um, three sets of this Ascension um, Legendary set. Only two sets, I believe, are on the store. Once these are it, that's it, they're done. They come with their own special COAs. Let you know there's only 50 of each one of these made. And if you want, you can get them signed by Brian Polito. Always willing to sign stuff. Man comes in and just goes to town, signing, signing, signing. All right. Some other cool stuff we got going on sale right now at the Coffin Comics shop. Uh, the Dan Mendoza. This is the Black Magic Edition. This is a two book set done by the very fun, the very cool Dan Mendoza. So we got a couple of these sets. This is the Naughty and uh, this is the Black Magic Edition and Naughty Black Magic Edition. These are sold as a set. So we got some of those right now on the eBay, or not the eBay store. I have one set on the eBay store, but a majority of the stuff you're gonna find is gonna be all in the Coffin Comic Shops. Click on the links, find your selection. Nightmare Symphony, this is the Seraphim. We have some of these, these are now available. Coffin Comic Shop. Another beautiful one. I have a question. Oh, Eric, I have a question. Something I always wondered. How come some books on eBay store are more expensive than the web store? Also, why is there a difference in the shipping price web store and eBay? Um, I changed all of my, um, I took FedEx off of my eBay store, Eric, because it was just a bloody headache. Also, a lot of the editions that go on eBay are, this is it, or it's like, this is a BP edition, an artist of proof edition, which are even smaller, more limited runs. Uh, so the eBay store is kind of like for all the old stuff, the very hard to find stuff, and the last of the last. 
I also have populated it with some um, nick and dent or scratch and dent stock. So you say there's addition you like, price point's a little high. Well, I do have some additions that, you know, good reader copies um, that are available. So check those out. I put a lot of that stuff on there. Ace, ace, ace. How are you, ace? Oh, uh, the Nightmare Symphony Leviathan edition. This is available at thecoffeecomicshop.com. Get them while you got them. Like I say, some of the stuff I might be showing you today might be sold out, and I think one of them may be this. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, you do, Terry. Just look for the, um, the, the thing we're doing is called Warehouse Finds. So click on the Warehouse Finds, and I'll show you everything available. It looks like the links I put on here um, went the way of the dodo, unfortunately. Nope, oh, there they are. You can click on the one for the eBay shop. There's a link for there. There's a link for the Coffin Comic Shop. There's also a link for anyone who hasn't read Lady Death. There is a link for a nice 15-page promo. It's pretty sweet. It kind of introduce you to our world. Let's see. Bam. Here we go. Next up, and I believe this might be the last copy. This is the uh, Mike DeBalfo Instant 2012. Brian Perry, it's always nice to hear from you. How you doing today, man? Yeah, Eric, and if you want, message me on eBay, or you can even send me a question at inquiries at coffincomics.com. Just tell them you're looking for me, and um, they'll shoot that email towards uh, my desk, and I'll help you out. I always love answering people's questions. February does need to get here. So I think this might be the last copy. This was done on an instant edition that um, Mike DeBalfo did at Phoenix Comic Con in 2012. Um, I don't know if anyone has some, seen one of these done, but it's one of the coolest things I think we've done, or any publisher has done, where they're the instant edition. We basically get the artist, you get to watch him do the sketch, he's going to get it all whipped up, they're going to ink it, color it, we get it to the printer, have it printed and ready for you within 24 hours. That's pretty sick, especially on the con floor. Old lady death in the mail. <laughs> Let's see, Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss. This is the incentive edition. This is also a warehouse find. Find it at the coffincomicshop.com. Let's see. Okay. Oh, wait. Closing in time to have my guest come in. Can't wait. I think you guys are all going to like the guests I have for us today. Apocalyptic Abyss 2. This is the Mega Incentive Edition. And I had to put some little star sensors on there. This is done by Mike Chrome. I actually had some handcrafted editions of these that we did for the um, San Diego Comic Con online. Uh, gorgeous piece. I, I really like this. I'm glad we did some more of these. This is Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. This is the homage damaged edition, and it is a reprinting of the first appearance of Superman from Action Comics number one. It's a very big homage of that. I like the detailing they did, because if you bought old collections or looked through old comic book collections, you always see stuff like that, like the tears or the thing just disintegrated, little water stains, coffee stains, what have you. C2E2, you really know in Chicago. Dude, I haven't been to Chicago in years. That actually would sound like a fun trip. But I don't make those decisions. But, yeah, I'll put it in people's ears. It would be nice to go back to cons once everything gets back to normal. Uh, Lady Death, Scorched Dirt, black and white. This is like the Hell Witch one I was showing you earlier. Inside of it, you get to see... Diego Bernard's um, pencils. I mean, this stuff is just beautiful, man. I love stuff like this. Oh. Look at the detail. It's just beautiful art. I love looking at pencil sketch art. It's just amazing. It's beautiful pieces, guys. So we have some of these available. This is at the Coffin Comics. Got the lady that the right. Oh, you got the first issue? Nice, dude. Nice. Local comic shop you went to and picked it up, Ace? 
Make sure you support your local comic shops too if you're looking for that classic old stuff, man. Sometimes there is a treasure trove of things to be found. All right, next up, another thing we have is the Lady Death Scorched Earth hardcover edition. This was previously available on Hick uh, Kickstarters. This is what our previous, two second previous, geez, wow. Scorched Earth, last thing, wow. It's hard to believe it's been that long since this came out, but this is the hardcover for Scorched Earth, and that is a 42, 48 page graphic novel. Some other things we found too, everyone, is there's also some metallic cards. So this is the Hell Witch Risque Hot Blooded metallic card. This is what's available now at the Coffin Comics uh, Shop.com, their warehouse finds. This is Paolo Pantelina's Hell Witch. This is the Forsaken Hardcover Edition. This is a metallic card. Yes, we make metal cards. Metal cards are pretty damn cool. Um, and Brian told me about it as, a, as like on a phone card. For all you folks that remember phone cards, this is La Muerta Haunted. Really beautiful image. Micro. Hmm. So got a couple of these left. Now, once the items sell out, they will not appear on the store anymore. So if you're looking for something I've been showing you and like, oh, where'd it go? It probably means we might have sold out of it. But always ask us at inquiries uh, at coffincomics.com because maybe we have a back stock somewhere that we just haven't run into yet. This is La Muerta Vengeance. Their little cover team up with her and Lady Death. Um, I sold the vault cover of this um, earlier this year. and That went like hotcakes. Um, La Muerta and Lady Death on a cover together. Uh, next one up is the metal card called Versus. Muerta Mama Z facing off. This is a really beautiful image. Stunning. Um, this is also, we have a premium foil edition uh, on the Dark Knight Market for that copy. Also, we've got some, we call this a coffin gauntlet, but it was um, on the back it says, Bless the uh, Anthem Homage. But this is the homage to the Infinity Gauntlet, or as we like to call it, the Coffin Gauntlet. Some other, another neat little metal cards we found is the Dragoness by Jesse Witchman. All this stuff, guys, is on the CoffinComicsShop.com. Click on Warehouse Finds, and this is where you'll find a lot of the selections. Check back there every Friday, and um, throughout the month of September, we will be having, oh my God, stop messaging me. Um, Excuse my French. Someone just messaged me something. Um, fart narkle. Every Friday, we'll be uh, uploading a new selection for this sale. So uh, for the warehouse finds, it's going to go every Friday throughout the month of September. We'll be uploading another group of items that we have found. Uh, the next selections are stuff you will find on the eBay store. Just got done lo loading up the Nightmare Symphony Number no. 1 Sworn Hellfire Edition, these are the BP copies. A couple of those in stock. Yes, they get the cool groovy foil sticker and the COA. Let's see. Lady D Gallery, 152K. Wow. Now the most recent Lady Death uh, Kickstarter is at least 224, 100,000 over this one. This is just great, man. Anyone who uh, helped us out on the Kickstarter, thank you very much. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We always have a blast, and it's always fun to see what Brian's going to reveal for you guys for that Kickstarter. Next up, I loaded up on eBay two copies of the Oblivion Kiss Captain Death Edition. To my knowledge, outside of vault copies, these are it. The last two. And I, I, this book just, you guys just love this book. Everyone's been buying this book. Every time I find one and put it up online, they're going. Um, this is the Scorched Earth Seven Seas Hollow Foil Cover. It's the last one I found so far. Um, I had some for Nick and Dent, and those got eaten up fairly quickly. Also uploaded, I thought I'd put these on there previously, but I didn't. Uh, La Muerta Vengeance, this is the Naughty Sangre. Cover. There was only 150 made. I got about two on eBay as we speak, uh, and they are by now. 
Another item, um, I believe this is also the last one outside of the vault. This is La Muerta Vengeance. This is the Crystal Metallico. It is a metal cover and it has Schwarzkis eh, <laughs> crystals enhancements. Sometimes the camera just cannot catch the, the beautiful gleam of these jewels. So you gotta check it out guys. These are beautiful pieces. Another thing I uploaded too is a two pack set done by the amazing David Harrigan. I gotta adjust my stickers so we don't see any naughty bits. But this is Lamor to Last Right. This is the Heavenly and Hellish Mama Z set. I just got done uploading a couple of these onto eBay. So definitely scoop them up. And two things that I'm really happy I got my hands on, and I'll probably, um, you'll probably see some more, but I only have usually only one of each of these, and that is it. Once they're done, they're done. I just put up a test sheet for Lady Death Malevolent Decimation. This is for the blackout cover. This is a test sheet. These are sold as is. And then I also got done uploading the Malevolent Decimation hardcover test sheet as well. Um, this is a sheet, so they'll print it out for Brian, get his approval, everything's lined up, everything's the exact way it wants, the colors match, he'll sign it. A-okay, that is good. I do have some Ones that are called whoops editions because they put the wrong back cover information on it. So it's a malevolent decimation cover, but it has La Muerta text on the back. So um, that was called the whoops one. So yeah. Anyways, that's what I got uh, for you guys today. I want to bring on a guest. Let's see if I can get them on. Hmm. No, I don't want to, Haley, don't make me do that. Let's see. Let's see, where are we? All right. Who else do we got on here? Think. All right, Miguel, how are you, Miguel? Let's see, we're gonna get. Boom. All right, guys, you ready for the guest star? Here we go. Adding our guest star in five, three, two, one. I hope you guys are gonna love this because I'm excited. I'm so excited. Come on, thing, work for me. Work for me. Let's do this. Come on. Hey, we got her! Yay! What's up, Haley? Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you been? How was your weekend? Fantastic. Thank you. How are you? Yeah. What did you uh, end up doing? I've been seeing all your pictures. There you go, everybody. I For a couple weeks, Haley and I have been trying to get this worked out so we can get her online because she wakes up. This is her morning show, guys. So she's just waking up on the other side of the world joining us, and I was like, if you want to do it, you know what? Um, let's make a day. We planned today. Last week was your uh, husband's birthday, so happy birthday. So, <laughs> did you guys do a lot of celebrating? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, oh, she put up the challenge point, folks. You know what that means. You know what that means. So, all right, I gotta show you mine. <laughs> I forget there's such a delay on my end to the other one. But here's a, a couple questions. What's that? Yeah, I'm gonna tell it for some reason. Nope. <laughs> hey, there you are. We had you on your head for a little bit. Yeah, how is it? Well, you're sideways, but hey, however you want to go. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Technology at its finest. <laughs> so here's my question for you. All right. How, what got you into fandom? What was the thing that got you into Lady Death Comics and Coffin? What was the thing that drove you into it? Okay, so. 
publishing company in Arizona and it's worldwide yeah. so it's always fascinated me when I see people like I met a couple from France at Fiend Fest and they were telling me all about it it's like wow it just it's really exciting um to meet fans especially from all over the world because I'm always like how did you find this you know what was it and for you it's like you're looking for costume ideas <laughs> <laughs> So are you are you planning to come to Swarm Fest with oh, us? The day that, sorry, there's a hell of a day. I'm not quite sure if I'm talking or not. I, I yes, bought the ticket for the day they came in. Yes. See you guys? Swarm Fest. Um, for those who make Fiend Fest knew how great it was, I think Swarm Fest is gonna be even better because we got folks like Haley's gonna be joining us. Is your husband gonna be coming along with you yep. too? Right on. And is he into uh, comics and stuff like that as well? So that's cool. It's 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 funny because I've met um, some couples um, that one collects certain artists of one thing and one certain the other, and seeing them try to one up each other in their collection is hilarious. <laughs> Um, but it's like, you all live in the same house. I mean, you know, what, what are you all going to do? Are you going to, you know, steal from each other? They know where you live. You're down the hall yeah. for the love of Pete. You're down the hall. So what's, um, now I noticed you, you back us on the Kickstarters, right? Oh, I haven't done the love. It's, oh, in your case, you got the Tuesdays, not the Mondays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving that You have to save for us now three times fast. I have to say what? <laughs> for crystal. Uh, malevolent decimation, malevolent decimation, malevolent decimation, malevolent decimation. Boom. <laughs> Treacherous Symphony is easy. 
Malevolent decimation was the hardest damn thing to get out of my mouth for the longest time. <laughs> uh, it, it's re and now that you guys are challenging me, um, oh, and my wife says hi, by the way. She's excited to meet you. Um, she's so excited. She's like, oh, my God. I was telling her you were going to be on the show today. She said, oh, I got to make sure I watch it. She's like, I got to, if I can't make it, tell her I say hi, and I can't wait till we meet. So yeah, she's excited to meet you. So she wanted me to make sure I said hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably gonna make my wife drive me to all the after parties at Swarm Fest. <laughs> Say hey, hon, just you know, hang out. Um, everyone's been offering me drinks um, to buy me drinks, so I'm a little. I'm like, okay, I gotta bring up my tolerance because I'm a lightweight these days because I don't drink like I used to. Um, What's one of the things that, um, have you ever traveled to the United States before? Will this be your first trip out here? No, I went in 99. Wow. I went down to San Diego. I about 10 years ago with my husband, and we met in um, <laughs> Alaska. This time we did New York's fun. Yes, unfortunately, um, I felt absolutely so really appreciate it because I had to sleep across three days traveling. <laughs> but I did manage to get out and have a look. It was like, oh my, the houses are just like they're looking just with bricks and the stairs going down. Because <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's more than Sesame Street as a kid. Like, those houses are really so what's the one thing you're you're really excited about for Swarm Fest? And guys, if you haven't gotten tickets, there's still tickets. Yeah. If you haven't gotten your tickets, get your yeah. tickets. It's, it's fun. It's one of the funnest shows I've been to, and I've done lots of conventions over the years. And uh, Fiend Fest was a blast, and I think Swarm Fest is going to be even better. I mean, yeah. I mean come on. It, I, meeting everybody, meeting everyone. So many amazing friends through just the nation group and through Pop and to actually get to meet everyone in the flesh is going to be nuts. So, uh, people who know me in advance, if you don't like mugs, let me know because I might put a rug to cut you in a big mug when I get to meet And this is what I love about this Swarm Fest is just. Everyone come together for World Ride. It's it's really cool. Um, I remember, was it last year when Brian was like, "Oh, we've got our books on every continent of the world except for Antarctica," and then all of a sudden we get a message, and there's a guy standing at Antarctica with our books. It's like, holy cow! It's amazing. <laughs> it's so cool to watch us grow like this. Well, I, 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 I'm like, well, you know, now, now we just need to shoot that stuff out into space or to the moon. <laughs> shoot it to the moon. <laughs> just have them just put a Lady Death issue right there on the moon and leave it. Just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from yeah. Earth. And funny. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's all about having fun. And that's one thing um, uh, with Swarm Fest that I'm excited for. Um, I'm hoping I get to meet... Um, a lot of the folks again that I, I, I met last year, but then there's folks like Haley here and everyone else um, that over the year of being here, this is now my second year and it's just amazing everyone that I've met and everyone's just a hoot to hang out with. And I'm sure uh, Haley, you've experienced, it's like, it's a really fun group of people to hang out with and chat with. They're a lot of fun. Are you scared of them, Haley? Are you scared of them? Don't be scared of our fans. <laughs> they love you. I can't stare on me, can I? What time is it there? I mean, you're now Tuesday morning. Yes, it's it's actually not. It's oh. uh, sorry, it's not early. Nine thirty-four a.m. Every time in the park. I'm 
I know. <laughs> That's why I was trying to make sure. It's like, okay, let's plan this. Let's get this figured out. So I was like, let's make plans. Um, so yeah, and then um, I remember, <coughs> excuse me. Woo! That was a good one. <laughs> so I got to ask you, how does the future look? It looks bright. Yeah, I'm excited. Born fest. Living in Melbourne at the moment, which is so difficult. Heading into summer. Hell, which hell, which villages? Oh my god! I know. I I've seen some of the uh, cover art coming up for that. Um, see, I I get to see all that special stuff and. Sometimes people will be like, hey, uh, if you know, I was like, I can't do that. I love my job. I don't want to lose my job. You know, you give me a 1.5 million, then we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think anyone's going to offer me 1.5 million for anything. So I, I don't worry about it. So, <laughs> so here's my question. What, who is it? that you're most excited to meet when you get into the Valley of the Sun in February? Oh, geez. Okay, most excited or most nervous? <laughs> yes. Um, I think it'd be probably the arch fiend himself. <laughs> it's it's going to be, uh, God, I, I, I'm trying to equate uh, how Fiend Fest was and compare it with Swarm Fest, but every time I keep thinking, I was like, I don't think there's going to be any comparison because it's going to be a bigger show, and um, I, I think we're doing rock and roll karaoke or something like that. So I remember that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which I, I was like, okay, I'm down with that. I'll, I'll have to, you know, dust off the pipes. <laughs> Stuff like that. As long as Jimmy doesn't do the because you know, Jimmy's in a band, so it's like, oh, dude, you'll just win. Come on. Yeah. Stop messing with this, Jimmy. You're a fabulous singing. <laughs> so, um, when you guys are planning to fly in, it's going to be the end of February. Um, are you guys staying at the hotel where we're going to be having the convention? I keep dropping stuff. I'm, I'm not sure. We have booked our flights and accommodation. Have you been to Arizona before? Or is this your first time? Yeah, you can't miss Arizona. It's just hot and sunlight. That's it. Everything's beige. I'm, I'm, Everything's brown. I'm ginger. I'll just burn to a crisp in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it's really beautiful. Um, hopefully, with the uh, with Fiend Fest, uh, we had that weekend was probably one of our coldest Februarys. It rained the whole time, which was nice. But everyone from around the world was like, "I thought there would be sun." I said, "Sorry, <laughs> not this year." So I have a feeling. I don't know. I, I'm I'm really excited. I just wish it would be February already so we can get on with it. Right. <laughs> Winter, so I'm going to fly. <laughs> yeah, well, what you wait, 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 rewind that. Wait, not only are you in the future by a day, <laughs> it's winter on your side of the world. No, not now. We're still okay. our summer. And okay, <laughs> okay, because at first I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 they have winter going on. This is so surreal. <laughs> I was gonna lose my mind. <laughs> and it's like, wow, I, I know I'm getting old and senile, but whoo, yeah, for a second there, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, yes, for what, whoever's here watching, 
Oh, uh oh. Steph Wilson, is that Aussie saucy? Wow. <laughs> hey, it's a pooch. That's my dog. Hi, puppy. How long you had your dog? Five, two. He is like next year. And I can't see any of these comments because I had to write the guy. So I'm going to go back and give people some crap like Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Steph Wilson wants to know, um, has you already started drinking yet? <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's got her coffee, but I'm sure there's some other things in the coffee. Oh, 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 all right. Well, we have plenty of beverages here at HQ, so, <laughs> yes, we, we have to get it all ready for the Kickstarters. And um, I'm, I, I hopefully we'll do another tour of HQ this time around, so. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'll, all I know is to set it up for the last one, we went to town on the whole HQ, doing the whole rearranging, cleaning, getting it all into place. Oh, God. So I'm expecting much of the same. Um, but one thing that's neat is um, Brian always comes up with uh, last minute ideas to keep things interested, especially here, working here. Yeah. It's like, hey, I need 300 of this pulled. Can you get it for me? He's like, sure. Hey, grab me 50 more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, it's never a dull moment working at Brian. He keeps us on our toes. So, yeah. Oh, Ace wanted to say hi, Haley. <laughs> yep, Ace will be there. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait because I get to meet Ace. I'll get to meet you. My wife is excited to meet everyone I talk about because she's just like, oh, hey, I, that person's on the show. Yeah, that person. I, I, they wanted to send me a friend request. I'm like, do it. They're great people. <laughs> so. <He's awesome. laughs> I'm so glad you were able to make it. I was, I was nervous it was going to be some glitch or something today. I was like, not today, please, of all days. Not today, because well, you and I have been going back for about three weeks for this. Mm -hmm. So we've been planning it. Bob's going to be there. Look at Bob. Bob. <laughs> it was so hard not to say who was going to be the special guest, because I was just like, I want to tell everyone it's Haley, but I want to surprise everyone at the same time. <laughs> so... I hope you all were surprised. Um, like I say, with Haley, it was really hard. It was, there's a lot of arrangements we had to do to get her on here. And I thought it would be a really good segment to, you know, everyone meet a fan that we're probably going to see at Swarm Fest or through social medias. So all I got to say is if you guys have any questions, shout it out to Haley and I will give her that question. All right. <laughs> she, she, she doesn't look too scared, guys. So. Come on, someone's got to have a, someone's, oh, wait. That's good. Ace said it was a really big surprise. This is uh, the aw most awesome guest ever. Oh. There you go. Wow, look at you. You got the awesome Steph, Steph Wilson. Steph, you're going to be at Sworn Fest, right? Come on. You got to be there. You got to show this Aussie girl some love that this coming year. Come on. Come on. Look at all these like Wow, Haley, you're just blowing up the phone. You got all these likes and hearts. Oh, 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 Bob just gave me a three pack in a row. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a great, there's a great bunch of people. I, 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 I was always nervous about doing this show at first, but then I started interacting with everyone, especially the folks I already knew. And it's like, oh my God, this is so much fun. So Mondays went from being my most dreadful days to my most exciting days. So. <laughs> Cause I get to interact with you guys. So that's, that's to me is the joy of it. Getting to know everyone. Um, those crazy shout outs where you guys make me say things three times fast that I'm really bad at. Yeah. You and Miguel started that by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Cause now that we're done with the Kickstarters, I can say the names perfectly now. <laughs> But we're in the middle of it. I, I just butcher it like a blind butcher at a factory, man. Uh, yeah, we should get a group. Okay, a group picture in February is in order, so says Ace. Oh, cool. So we will definitely do that. I see the ones from. But 
<laughs> Miguel is trouble. He is. He is. In, he is trouble. But Miguel's a, probably one of the sweetest guys you all ever meet. Um, Haley, do you have any questions for any of us, or is there anything you want to say to us? One of the best things in the whole wide world. If you're, if you're close so many of you, then I do some of the I know and have met. I uh, can't wait to meet you all. Thank you for coming to the incredible community. You guys are great. We are a good, they're a good group of people. So let's get, give yourself a nice beauty queen wave goodbye to us, Mihaly. Oh, 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 she's been proud. Yeah, she's got it. Thank you so very much. I hope you have an amazing day. Enjoy life in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Haley. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, everybody. Look, we had Haley join us today. This is like my one thing I was hoping would come through. All right. Hey, she's sideways again. I can't <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! How does how do these things work? Oh, there we go. Beep. Bye. Hey, bye. <laughs> hey, we might as well just keep you on through the whole thing. I mean, heck, we got you going sideways. Oh, nice microphone you got. There. Thank you so much for having me on. Anytime. Bye. <laughs> I don't even know how half cup the technology works. Oh, okay. oh you there you go. This is better work. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Everything is sideways in Australia. Um, I don't know. I've never been there, but um, one of these days is actually one part of the world I'd like to, to see. It's weird having such a delay. Uh, with Haley, it was like, oh my God, the delay. But that's like, so everyone, that was uh, who I was hoping to bring on here for you guys. And um, just to let you guys know, thank you. The Kickstarter uh, blew up <laughs> big time. It was our most successful Kickstarter ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We were all very humbled. Um, we all have fun. This is a very, um, rewarding job and I think for all of us because we're all excited about what we do we all are a team of people that love presenting what we have to you guys and we are very appreciative of everything you guys do for us and all you've done for us and all you will do for us in the future so we applaud you so thank you very much guys uh, it has been a wonderful experience um, doing these shows, uh, meeting people like Haley, people like Ace, getting to hang out and meet uh, old regulars like Miguel and Bob and, and other folks I've seen over the past, and Troy and Gidget. Just... We do what we do because we love it, and we do what we do because we love giving it to you guys, and you guys eat it up. So I am very excited for February so I can get to meet even more of you guys. Um, so, <laughs> yes, the Kickstarter went way beyond nuclear. I didn't think we expected that. Um, I know I was just like, okay, we'll probably get it this number. But again, you guys, again, top it again and again. So real quick, um, I'm going to be packing away stuff. Hey, Lisa, thank you so much for having me on. I think apologies for... Oh, don't apologize at all. Um, it's... You know, technology, man. I mean, I don't worry about it. I was just happy to bring you on the show and, um, you know, showing the world Haley. And I'm going to try to do this uh, at every show, try to bring one of you all on to um, tell us a little about, about yourselves and, you know, what what is it about what Coffee Comics does that, you know, keeps you coming back? Because, you know, we love to hear stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to take things away in reverse. This is all stuff on the link for the Coffin Comics shop. These are the warehouse finds. We got some metallic cards, like this La Muerta Haunted metal card. 
we have the Hell Witch. This was the hardcover art for the, I forgot the name, Forsaken. That's it. Hell Witch the Forsaken. We even have the Risque Hot and Bloody Hell Witch, Mr. Witchman. No crying aloud. Ah, uh, Ace, I think we can all cry when we're all together because I think we're a group of people that really, um, truly just enjoy each other's company and we all love coffin comics. Vengeance, Met Metal Card, this La Muerta and Hell Witch together. This was a La Muerta cover um, from a Kickstarter. Um, I put up one on the vault a few weeks ago on eBay and it was gone. This is the verses, Mama Z and La Muerta facing off. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. Jake Tingle. Great homage of Bless the Anthem. Um, this is the Coffin Gauntlet. <laughs> it won't even be for good mine. <laughs> Let's go right now. <laughs> Ace, I, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Dragoness. This is also a metal card, if you guys are familiar. We do metal covers, we do metal jewel covers, and we do metal cards. And occasionally we even do really beautiful metal prints. Over on the eBay store, just upload the uh, La Muerta Last Rites Heavenly and Hellish Mama Z set. Outside of Vault Books, this is the last of La Muerta Vengeance Crystal Metallico Edition. You can find this on the eBay store. And someone asked, uh, how often do I do the bags and boards? Uh, if you buy them from eBay, I usually put everything in a new bag and board um, if it needs it. Sometimes even not, because it just I figure if I'm selling you a book, uh, I think it should be in the most presentable uh, bag and board as possible. I make sure it's nice and neat and look sharp and clean. So I try to do that for y'all. Um, this is the Lady Death, Scorched Earth, Sinister Seas Hollow Foil. This is the last one I've come across. This is also on the eBay store. That's a really beautiful statement, Ace. That's really cool. Ace just said, um, I would not train the, uh, trade the friends I've met here for nothing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks, Ian. I, I, there's some really beautiful people here, and I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you feel that way. That I think that's something anybody could hope for when they have a great group of people that appreciate uh, the hard work, the artwork, and, and the stories we tell. Um, when the group itself is just there to support each other, it's, it's a beautiful group. So I'm glad to see this, and I'm glad to be a part of it. So thank you very much, Ace. I'm, that really means a lot. Thank you. Um, this is La Muerta Vengeance. This is the Naughty Sangria. This is the two copies I have left. They are on eBay. I also loaded up two copies of the Captain Death edition. So I have two left of these. I believe I have them for $20, $25. Also have the Nightmare Symphony Sworn Hellfire edition. Uh, interesting things is this is the same as the white cover. It's just every, I think it was one in five or one in 10 had a Hellfire uh, variant colored edition in between. Another eBay fun thing I found, I just think this is a great cover by David Harrigan. This is the Lady Death Gallery 152K. That was a few years ago. That was our, our total for the uh, Hell Witch Kickstarter we did. Now we're $225,000 plus that. That's that's sick. Thank you guys. You guys really you impress us. You guys do it. Thank you for turning uh, new fans on to us all the time, guys. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, this is the last stuff that we'll be presenting at the Coffee Comic Shop. This is a hardcover for Scorched Earth. And this is all stuff you'll find under Warehouse Finds. Every Friday, there will be a new batch of items added to. Uh, that promo we'll be doing for the whole month of September. So there'll be a lot of cool stuff. A lot of it's the last of it. So if you see it, grab it. Because some of the stuff that I just am going to be showing you today, 
uh, I'm already full out. So don't him, don't ha. People grab stuff quick, and you should know that after the past Kickstarter. Uh, Lady Death Scorched Earth, this is the black and white edition. This is something you can get at the cost of comicshop.com. Apocalyptic Abyss, this is the homage damage edition by Marat Michaels, homaging Action Comics number one. This is the Apocalyptic Abyss number two Mega Incentive Edition. This is from the comic book direct market. I would never tell, sell, maybe. <laughs> Bob! <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you're amazing. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss, number one. This is the incentive edition. If anyone has any questions on um, all the different editions of what means what, um, please ask them. Um, I, I don't mind helping figures out. And sometimes people are new to collecting comics and, and other things, and they kind of need help. So. You know, we have a really great site, coffincomics.com, and you can click on descriptions on the characters, story arcs, the whole world we're building, um, and it'll give you a brief description uh, of that character and what they're all about. Uh, this is probably sold out now, so this is, um, I don't even know why I'm showing it to you, but I have to, because it might not have sold out yet. But this is the Mike DeValfo Instant from Phoenix Comic Con 2012. We had a few of these left. Um, when I was pulling items for the show, this is the only copy I could get my hands on. Uh, there was some other things I wanted to show you all, but they were already sold out and gone. And that was all the items from week one. Um, see quite a few of those have already sold out week two. There's, uh, still items on there. We just put those up on Friday. Um, but already, as you can see, uh, I had maybe onesies of a lot of this stuff to show you guys. Um, Lady Death, Nightmare Symphony. Leviathan edition. There's also a naughty variant to this as well. Um, off the comic store. If you can't find things there, also check out our eBay store. That is where I usually flip the last of the last items, um, old con exclusives, a lot of our old stuff from Brian's archive. So you'll find a lot of that stuff there. And if you have any questions, please ask. Don't, I, I don't mind answering questions from eBay customers at all. Figure, hey, a customer is a customer. If they're going to ask you a question, you better answer it. Nightmare Symphony, this is the Seraphim. This is also something you do by clicking on the link for Coffin Comic Shop. Go ahead and click to find your selections while we still have them. Let's say some of this stuff is already gone. We have three more minutes. We'll go a little quicker now. Dan Mendoza's Black Magic. This is a two book set. This is also available at the Coffin Comics shop.com click on the links to make your selections probably one of the coolest items i'm going to be showing you all today is the muerta the ascension legend edition it's a three book set comes with the legend the legend noir and the naughty legend all these pieces are done by eric basaluda this is number 25 out of the 50 sets so all of them have the matching serial numbers of 25 and they all have their exclusive COAs, letting you know what comes in the three-piece set and what it's limited to. We have a couple of these at the Coffee Comic Shop. I might even have one on eBay, but uh, I know someone had scooped up a couple of the um, legendary sets I had placed up there. Um, so, see it, get it. Joseph Hardy, what's up, man? How are you today? How was your weekend, dude? I hope it was a good one. Ascension, this is the Naughty Edition. Only 250 made. Genevieve Boumont is the artist. And this, I gotta show you back to back, because this is, it's just a beautiful book. This is La Muerta Retribution. This is the Jeweled Edition by Colette Turner. And then we had a Direct Market Edition that is the Mega Incentive. And it's just all, black ink on red backgrounds. It's a beautiful piece of art, beautiful piece. And some other items you will find here like this. This is the Hell Witch Hellborn black and white edition. Uh, this is the raw pencils of what the comic book looks like in the interiors. There is no text, no nothing. Just beautiful, 
beautiful pencil line art. If you're into art and the process of comics, that's a book for you. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up. I hope everyone had a great day. Haley, thank you for joining us. Everyone stay sworn. See you next week. Asta.